Well, the Packers' first training camp practice is just a week away. And, Jude, tonight the Packers honored a pair of former players for their efforts over the years. Yeah, Mark, the annual Packers Hall of Fame induction ceremony always a fun walk down memory lane. Well, for Amon Green and Ken Rutgers, the two honorees this year, they took different paths to glory with the Packers, but both undoubtedly left their mark. Green played his first two seasons with the Seahawks before a trade brought him here to Green Bay. He played eight seasons for the Packers and was selected to four Pro Bowls. He finished his career as the Packers' all-time leading rusher with 8,322 yards and 54 rushing touchdowns during his time in Green Bay. Green actually learned about being traded to the Packers from his stepdad on the phone and then had the surreal experience of having it confirmed via watching the TV. They hand him a piece of paper, and he's like, oh, this just in. You know, Mon Green gets traded to Green Bay for Fred Vincent and a fifth-round pick. And I'm like, this, like, wow, you weren't joking that. <laughs> you know, when the trade, now the trade happened, and now for me it was like, all right, you know, who's in Green Bay? I knew my role coming in, playing special teams and being Dorsey Levin's backup. And I just took everything from that point on with a grain of salt. You know, it was a blessing in disguise. It did work out pretty well for him. Ken Rutgers was selected with the Packers' seventh overall pick in 1985. He manned the left tackle spot for over a decade before the, with the Packers before retiring in 1996. Following his career, Rutgers earned an MBA, then a PhD in sociology. He now teaches at a community college in Oregon. His biggest point of pride from his on-field career being a part of the turnaround with the Packers organization. It's hard enough in the NFL when you're winning to keep winning. But when you're, you're not winning and you're losing, it's hard to turn that culture around. You know, that takes leadership. That takes vision. And in this case, it took um, Bob Harlan and Ron Wolf and Mike Holman. And for them, I'm very thankful in that they gave me the opportunity uh, to be part of bringing back a winning tradition to Green Bay.